Welcome back to AP Pre-Calculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 2.14 is all about modeling logarithmic functions from data. So understand this, you really only need one or two input-output value pairs to derive a log function. You do this by entering the points into the skeleton log function, and rearranging it and using algebra to solve for b. But more than likely you'll have an a to solve for too, which in this case, you would just have to solve a system of equations like you did back with exponential functions. For data, you'll know it is modeled by a log function when the x's go up at a proportional rate based on multiplication. This might sound familiar because exponential functions have the y-axis going up proportionally based on multiplication. And of course, you can use transformations to tweak log functions to conform to real-life scenarios given in problems, but I promise you won't be given much of that. The calculator regression, however, is always important. Just as you have the polynomial regressions and the exponential regression, you have the ln regression, which is just a log regression, you can run to find log functions. And always remember to save these regressions, no matter what they are on the exam, to use them to solve and predict later values on the graph. And also, I feel like since I've been talking about logs, I haven't said this enough. So remember, the skeleton equation for a log function is f of x equals a multiplied by log base b of x. Just as how you need to remember the skeleton equation for an exponential function being f of x equals a b to the x. And that's all. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.